It's nice to have you back here in this new video. I'm back to my YouTube studio once again to so show you all around the beautiful background. And in this video, we're going to continue our topic on the Kandal Cool Cam 3. In our previous episode, we have covered some of the, the latest features with the former upgrades you get on this camera. I mean, the Kandal Cool Cam 3 in the year 2024. It is a cost effective one shot 360 camera that is so capable to deliver 62 megapixel as well as high quality 5.7k video. During my personal shooting, I accidentally dropped this camera to the ground. The lenses survives because I'm always wearing that lens rubber and I will carry with me all around. But considering that the frame of the Cookam 3 is made of plastic, I've dropped the camera, damaged the frame of my Cookam 3. Uh, a few days later, I'm gonna set this camera, set this unit back to candle and get it repaired. So tips number one, always carry the lens protection rubber with you everywhere you go. I come across with some stitching errors, stitching issues, which I will show you in my screen capture that just almost ruined my shots, every one of the shots. So in this video, I have asked Kandal to provide the solution on my existing photo and video that fix the stitching errors and get the perfect stitch result as quickly as possible. And in this video, I will share with you how to recalibrate your stitching parameters and get the best overall stitching result. And after all this approach, you can recalibrate and rewrite the stitching settings in back into the camera once again. So now let's get started and just show you the step-by-step -step tutorial in this video. Okay, now let's go to the screen capture because I'm gonna show you the problems that I have come across with this camera after dropping to the ground. Here, take a look at the shots of photos and videos being captured a few days ago. Here's Adobe Bridge. Here you can see this is something that I, I would love to recalibrate the image, but before I finally get it, the stitching is just, it's just so bad. Let's open the, the Cookam Studio and let's import all these shots. Merge import, mm, take a look at this photo. I mean, tap on gravity correction. If you scroll around, take a look. I mean, the, the, the stitching quality is just so bad. Take a look at this guy. It looks like his head locates offset his body. That is clear evidence that the camera, structure of the camera, that has changed while dropping to the ground. If you turn off the optical flow, there you can see the stitching artifacts. It's just useless. This cam, this photo is just useless. I need to recalibrate the stitching settings. And to show you, to show you all around, take a look. It's, it's quite cold. It's around minus 30 degrees centigrade. So I'm wearing like this a hat. I need to recalibrate the photos, recalibrate the basis of my, uh, of my camera. And I just cannot, cannot, even with on stitch panel, I just cannot recalibrate recalibrating post process is way too hard because the, the camera something must be wrong with the camera and if you take a look at some photos that have been captured really far away from the the lens you still get the stitching arrows like this take a look it's obviously the offset take a look at the other side take a look at the letters just offset everywhere. It just ruined my shots. When I jump back to the Canon VR website, the engineer has proposed a recalibrate approach for our customers that you can recalibrate yourself and get the best possible settings that you want. Here's Cookham 3. In the download settings, uh, where you get this former upgrade app the studio. Uh, under the Studio tab, there is a Calibrate Cookam 3 using Cookam Studio 2.0. The, the last update date is January 31. 
Take a look at how to recalibrate. Okay, recalibrate QCAM Studio using the QCAM Studio 2.0. The, the dislocation of stitching may occur when there are differences in senses. The variation between distance shots and close shots. The calibration is designed to adjust the internal and external parameters of the camera, enhancing the performance of the panoramic image during post processing. Uh, due to the dropping to the ground, due to the accident, I just lost my original parameters. So to calibrate, just download the latest the latest QCAM Studio 2.0. You just cannot take photo like this straight. No, you have to take a take a photo up up and down upside down. Use the the front. Use use the rear lens or the, use the front fisheye or the rear fisheye towards the sky, and use another one towards the ground. Take a photo like this. Take a look at the engineers just holding the camera like this. But I suggest you holding with a selfie stick. You hold it with a selfie stick and extend like this and take uh, calibrate photos with your existing camera, just like this. To two hemisphere photos that have control points all around the image circles. So the software could recognize, detect those control points and perfectly match and recalibrate the calculate the best parameters for a external and internal settings of your existing optical lenses. You can use your hand or you can use your selfie stick or you get this example image. Uh, uh, it's filled with objects all around the circle because the, the 360 camera is designed with two, the two circular fisheye images. And import the studio, click on calibration. This is, this is the reason why, normally speaking, the calibration will not work on the basis of your shot, unless, unless you take a calibration shot like this. And later you can recalibrate, you get the, the latest settings. Well, take a look. I follow the step and I have captured this calibration shot like this. So if I turn off the gravity correction, take a look. The 360 shot in equirectangular format looks just like this. It looks like it's weird because this is where the horizontal lines, the horizontal lines lies vertically in my shot. If I'm shooting in this orientation, so that is back to my photo. I get, I get a photo like this. It looks like it's it's weird, but that's how it works. On the basis of this shot, or this shot, this one, or take another shot as well, this one. This one looks better because my, my camera looks locates the perfect like horizon. Take a look at adjustment, yaw, the pitch and roll. This is almost a perfect, a perfect calibration photo. Tap the calibration. To calibrate the photo will take quite a long time. The calibration just take a little while, just be patient. And after the calibration has been done, take a look at this the document. You get a new redefined.txt file. If you take a look, take on gravity correction. If you take a look at this photo, now the stitching, I mean now the stitching is almost perfect. Voila! Now the stitching is almost perfect. You don't have to, you can turn on or off the optical flow. Just cannot see the artifacts anymore. Take a look at this photo. Well, hit on export. You can export this redefine.txt file. Now you get this, the binary file. Open up. You see a lot of weird, the weird numbers because they are written in binary format. Well, this is where the secret lies during the stitching. There's just uh, internal and external parameters for your unit. This is the if you put this redefine.txt file, it was in the same folder with your photo and video. Well, next time when you reopen the QCAM Studio, the software can import this settings and apply automatically apply to all the settings of the photos to so reopen this cooking studio 
and import. Import. Now all of the photos has been recalibrated on the basis of this shot. Take a look at this one. So before this calibration, uh, you know, the man's head is offset with the body. A lot better. Take a look. This is where the magic happens after the recalibration. This is how it works. So next up is how to jam these parameters inside to your QCAM 3 unit. I can place the redefine.txt file in the root directory of your SD card. And insert SD card, power on, and the new settings will be automatically synchronized to your QCAM 3. And next time when you are next time when you take a shot, these settings can be inject to your EXIF information that next time your software is going to give you almost a perfect stitch. Take a look. This is where I'm watching this gallery before the calibration, before this calibration. And actually, I can calibrate the shot on the basis of a single frame. If I place camera like this during my shooting, but unluckily enough, it's just not working on this shot. So I can place this redefine.txt file into the video folder. Take a look. And I can also place in this folder, I have a series of a DNG8 shot. So this is how I get rid of the stitching errors for the Google Cam 3. There, I do have some more advanced technique. That's to completely wipe out the stitching errors with the on stitch panel or the, the single lens exporting. Well, on the studio, on the Cookham Studio 2.0, uh, it looks a, a little bit different compared with uh, the Cookham Studio 1.0. Take a look. If you want to um, wipe out all the arrows, you can export, tap on single lens unfolded view. Then it can export two single fisheye images being warped into the panorama and later in your post-processing software, I mean, you can uh, use Photoshop with some advanced masking technique that wipe out all the stitching errors along these stitching areas. And I do have some more in-depth tutorial on this technique. So if you want to know more about that, you can refer to my channel and uh, go to read all of And this is how I get rid of stitching errors and this is how I recalibrate uh, my QCAM 3 on the basis of the calibration photos and recalibrate with the studio software. I do hope this video is going to help you to solve some similar problems we come across when you enjoy your shooting with this camera. And uh, I do hope I, this video will help you get even better, much better content with your camera. Because with dual 1 over 1.55 inch sensor, this camera, this camera is really powerful. And I wish I'd like to demonstrate, show you more exciting photo and video being captured with Google Cam 3 and explore more about the, the, the exciting moment in my life. So that is all about this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you can figure it out to my YouTube channel and get more tutorials, 360 cameras and techniques. So talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.